This Saturday, 8th of July, starting at midday, I'll be attempting my annual charity maths marathon, where I'll attempt to complete these 24 maths exams in 24 hours. This year, I'm doing it to raise money for MIND, a mental health charity. I've advocated for greater awareness and support for mental health issues for over a decade. Nine years ago, I cycled 80 miles to raise money for Rethink. It's something I'm passionate about because of my own history with mental health. Even with that history though, I actually consider myself quite lucky, as I've never needed to use mind services, but millions of people do. I'm a long time sufferer of depression. During my childhood, I experienced a lot of bullying and othering, I struggled to fit in, and it all led to a lot of mental turbulence, but my depression really manifested during my PhD. This Nature article describes the culture in the postgraduate world, as 42% of PhD students agree that developing a mental health condition during your PhD is the norm. Join academia and expect to suffer, that's just what happens, apparently. And really, that's not okay. On top of that, I was diagnosed with autism last January. Now usually this is diagnosed during childhood, but even though the signs were there for me as a child, like being obsessed with numbers, with categorizing things, and of course, Lego, I managed to slip through the net. And let's be honest, I'm still obsessed with all of those things. Now for some, a late diagnosis can be a traumatic and life-changing experience. For me, it was actually an enormous relief, as it helped me understand myself better than I ever have. And it turns out that many of my depressive symptoms are the result of trying to suppress my autistic traits. But now that I know why these traits arise, I can embrace them. But, in a way, I am very fortunate. My diagnosis didn't affect me negatively. All my previous employers have been extremely accommodating, giving me time off when I've needed it, and helping to fund treatment options. And I have an incredible group of friends and family who I can be open with and who will support me. The sad truth is that many people aren't that fortunate. Mental health issues still carry a heavy stigma in certain communities, so people struggle to find support. For others, some conditions when diagnosed come with a minefield of potential treatment options which can be difficult to navigate. And for others still, they work for employers who are not as understanding or as generous with support. Many people wouldn't even feel comfortable disclosing to their boss that they have a mental health condition, even if they wanted to. It sucks. And that's why we need charities like MIND. MIND provide free advice about hundreds of different mental health issues. They provide training workshops for employers and staff bodies to heighten awareness and create better working environments, as well as provide emergency advice for people in need of urgent support. Their work is so much more important than ever, as much of the world is enduring times of economic turmoil, with much of the population bearing mental scars from the recent pandemic. This topic really matters to me, so I hope you'll consider supporting me and MIND by making a donation today. A donation of any amount is incredibly valuable, no matter how small. You'll find a link to my Tiltify down below, or you can scan the QR code here. But please, only donate if you're able to. I hope you'll join the live stream for 24 hours of mathematics. Really, what could possibly be more entertaining? Last year, I actually really struggled with this, so I would love to interact with you and hear some words of encouragement as I go. I look forward to seeing you there, and thank you.